Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do Victoria Justice's look from her music video, Best Friend's Brother. And I really liked her look in that video and I know a lot of you girls out there really like her a lot. And I personally like her too, so I wanted to show you guys um, how to get her look today. I'm just going to put this little Velcro thing in my hair so that it stays back. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to do is, as always, moisturize my face. This is my Cora's 24 hour moisturizer. And after that, I'm going to apply my MAC Prep and Prime. This is the Skin Base Massage. And I'm going to apply it all over my face using just one squirt. So this is the Bare Minerals Original SPF 15 Foundation in the color Fairly Medium C20. And because Victoria Justice is, she appeals to a younger audience, I figured that using... Um, a powder foundation would be a lot more suitable for younger girls rather than like a full coverage liquid foundation. So that's what I'm going to be using. And today we're going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Palette which looks like this. The first color I'm going to be using is the crease color. And for that I'm going to take a smaller a tapered blending brush. This is from Rockin' Republic. I'm going to take the color Smog, which is a medium to light brown. I'm going to lightly blend this into the crease. I'm starting in the outer corner with small circular motions and I'm working my way slowly towards the inner part of my eye. And then right where my nose is, I'm kind of going to contour with whatever's left on the brush right where my nose is. So you can definitely tell that's what the makeup artist has done in her music video. And then just lightly blend it out. I am now going to take a eyeshadow brush. This is from Sigma, the E55. And I'm going to take the color Naked, which is a very light brown. And I'm going to pat that right onto the lid. So now what we want to do is darken the outer V area. If you can tell in the video when she opens her eyes, the darkest part of her eyes is right in the very outer corner and her lashes kind of help make it a little bit more darkened as well. So I'm going to take my favorite brush for placing color and this is just the Sonia Kashuk blending brush and I'm going to use a mixture of Hustle and this darker black color for the very outer V. I want it to be really, really dark. So I'm just going to work on placing the color right where I want it. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take Color Buck, which again is just this darker medium brown. And I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the color Hustle, which is the darker of the browns, and I'm going to put it on the very, very outer corner to darken that up. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the highlight color. For that, I'm going to use my large shader E60 brush, which looks like this from Sigma. And I'm going to take the lightest color in the palette, which is called Virgin. And I'm just going to lightly dust that on the brow bone. And in the inner corners as well. Use my Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner and I'm going to apply that to my lower waterline just about halfway through. So now it is time for the black eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner. It's the Maybelline Line Stiletto in black. And I'm going to apply that to my um, upper lid. Now the mascara is the most important thing because unfortunately I do, not have, um, I do not have false eyelashes with me at the moment. So in order to get those really, really big lashes, my only option is to use my favorite mascara that gives me length and volume at the same time, which is my Revive Lash Volumizing Mascara and the primer that goes with it.
And then I'm just going to do um, a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes as well. I let that dry, I'm going to work on my eyebrows. Now she has really, really like thick eyebrows, thicker than I have. So to start off with that, I'm going to use my Instant Brow Pencil by Benefit. And I'm going to start um, outlining the brows and making them thicker than they really are. And then you make them curve and then they go down. This looks completely retarded on me. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to um I'm going to use my concealer to make my eyebrows more formed, but now I'm going to use some powder. to shape them a bit and to fill them in. Right, so now I'm going to start forming them with my concealer. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand, take a concealer brush, and just start carefully forming them. I'm going to use this bronzer, NYC, in the color Sunny to contour out my cheekbones just a little bit. For the blush, she always has this really, really cute pink blush just on her cheekbones. So I'm going to be using Dandelion by Benefit. I'm going to smile and I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks. And I'm applying a lot because she looks like she always puts a lot on the apples of her cheeks. And then the last thing I'm going to do is the lips. And I'm going to line them with my CoverGirl Lip Perfection in the color Seduction. And then I'm going to take the color Heavenly by CoverGirl, which is a soft pink. I'm going to apply that over top of the uh, lip pencil. This is Mimi. It's from the Hello Kitty collection uh, by MAC. And put it right in the center of my lips. Alright guys, so that is it for the makeup look. And now I'm going to start doing the hair. Uh, so what I did is I just have some pretty thick eyebrows. I got a brown smoky eye, pink cheeks, and a pink lip. So stay tuned for the hair tutorial. So for the hair look, it's actually uh, pretty simple. What I'm going to do is just make a middle part and tease it a little bit and straighten out the ends so they're not as wavy. So now that I've brushed my hair out, the next thing I'm going to do is take my straightener and just really straighten out the ends. I don't want them to be wavy, I just want it to be pretty stick straight. So bringing my hair forward, I'm going to start working on that middle part. My middle part to be pretty close to the middle. Matt is already home from the gym. That was a short workout. <laughs> so the trick to having the perfect middle part is teasing going from the sides rather than teasing back. You want to tease going from the sides so that this has lift and it's not so flat. And then in the very back of the head, probably about like right here, I'm going to be teasing um, just so that I have a little bit of lift like this. So I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Actually, I'm going to use my dry shampoo to do the teasing. Hi. This is the dry shampoo by s g Salon Graphics. And it's pretty cheap at the drug, so I think it's only like $3 or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small one-inch section of hair going all the way back. So probably about like that. And I'm going to spray the dry shampoo right onto the root. You want to massage it in a bit. You could even massage it in with the brush if you wanted to. And then I'm just going to lightly tease like right at the root. And then I'm going to do the next section underneath of it. And you want to take smaller sections because I noticed the smaller sections you take, the um, bigger your hair will be. And if you take bigger chunk sections, it's harder to get a good tease. 
So once again, I just sprayed it with the dry shampoo at the root, and I'm rubbing it in with my brush and teasing it. And then you just want to smooth it down very, very lightly. Okay, so then taking this back section right here, probably about that much, I'm going to start teasing that. So now you have a middle part with some volume at the top. And then these pieces are flatter near the face. So I'm just gonna straighten those out. Any hairs around your face that you need to straighten out so they're not like curling. I'm actually gonna give uh, this tease that we did just a little bit of spray so it stays in place. And then for the side parts right here, I'm gonna take them and blend them with the hair all the way down to my ear, like this, and I'm gonna curl it outwards. All right guys, so that is it. That is how you get her look with the thick eyebrows, you know, the pink lips, pink cheeks. You got the middle part, if you can do it. My hairline is kind of being mad at me right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then you just got some volume and um, she likes to go like this a lot, like tuck her hair behind her ears and then have the rest like come out. Um, so that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you later. Bye.